Hello everyone, welcome to a new benchmark video on this channel. This time we have got a long in the tooth system from late 2013. I'm talking about the AMD FX6300 and the MSI Radeon R9 280X Gaming 3G in combination with 12GB of DDR3 dual channel RAM. I was testing 22 of today's most played titles and the overall performance has been pretty good. But using such an old system there are obviously some cons that I will talk about later on. Let's start with the pros. Both the FX6300 and the R9 280X are pretty easily affordable price-wise. Regarding the current second-hand market, this is not a given. The CPU costs around 25 up to 35 euros, while the GPU costs around 100 up to 140 euros, of course, in used but still good condition. Also, regarding pure performance, the FX6300, which I've been testing at stock lock rate, and the R9 280X did a solid job. Both aren't exactly powerhouses, but 20 of the 22 games I've tested have been at least okay, if not even well playable. So is this a CPU and GPU combination that I'd recommend for gaming in 2022? Well, to some extent, because now we need to talk about the cons. As already mentioned in my previous benchmark videos of the R9 270X and the R7 370, AMD stopped providing official driver support for all GPUs in the series. So the latest official driver version that you're able to install for the R9 280X is Adrenaline 21.4.1, a driver's version of April 2021. This is not a problem for most games, but some new titles like Battlefield 2042 are already refusing to work properly and you're receiving an error message. This is pretty funny because the Battlefield 2042 beta has been playable on the R9 280X pretty okay-ish at around 30 up to 40 FPS at 1080p low settings without popping up an error message and refusing to launch. This seems like an artificial restriction for the R9 280X and can be solved by installing an unofficial AMD driver version. There are already workarounds on the web for updating the R9 280X and any other GPU of this generation to the latest AMD driver version. If you're interested in this topic, Google for Nimes drivers, spelled N-I-M-E-Z. Another problem that can't be solved by using an unofficial driver is that the R9 280X is running out of features. This GPU won't be able to run any modern DirectX 12.1 titles like Halo Infinite. Already the DirectX 12 feature level doesn't work properly and can cause DirectX 12 titles to crash randomly or even totally refuse to work. So yeah, in this aspect the R9 280X is becoming really outdated. And here comes the problem. Why can't I recommend this GPU for gaming in 2022? There are better alternatives. The NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti, for example, has got around the same performance and only uses a third of the power usage of the R9 280X and is completely up-to-date feature otherwise. There are no games that will refuse to run on this GPU. The GTX 1050 Ti is also reasonably priced, costing around 170 euros in used but still good condition on eBay. But what about the FX6300? To be honest, at the current price, this CPU might be a no-brainer, but there is a huge problem why I also can't recommend this one for gaming in 2022. For their age, the AM3 Plus motherboards are way too expensive right now. In Europe, you pay around 60 euros for a proper board. So again, there are better alternatives. Instead, get an i3 10100F and a 40 euro motherboard. This will cost you around 120 euros. This might be around twice the price of an FX6300 and a proper board, but the i3 is much faster. So in my opinion, it's rather worth the money to invest in a modern CPU and motherboard combo for gaming in 2022. And adding a GTX 1050 Ti or even a GTX 1060 if you're on tight budget should also work. All in all, the FX6300 and the R9 280X have been, in my opinion, a very interesting system to test. But that's nothing that I could recommend for gaming in 2022 in all good faith. However, that's it for my voiceover. I hope you're going to like all the benchmark clips. I surely had a lot of fun testing the system because I've been very curious about its performance. 
I wish you all the best, stay safe and have a great day. Cheers! Champion out. Hostile over there. Reloading. That out for the count. Reloading. Firing. Reloading. Reloading. <laughs> Enemy down. Enemy taken out. Good job. Reloading.
on me. My elf ready. Charges left. One enemy remaining. My ultimate is ready. Stamford Bridge here in West London. And when you think of the Battle of the Bridge, you think of 2016 when Chelsea officially ended Spurs title hopes with a 2-2 draw. Chelsea against Spurs today. Derek Ray alongside Stuart Robson here on the gantry. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing? Well, first of all, Derek, the atmosphere inside the stadium is incredible. And what a game we have in store for us. These two have become really fierce rivals in more recent times. And I think it's fair to say they don't like each other very much. Let's see about the delivery. On a corner like that, every goal. Skip. Kane. Rebier. Sends it back. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Thank you. 
Let it, can't take it on my watch. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. I've been wanting this. I need a toggle. I cannot attack them.
I cannot attack that hug. I do not have a target. I need a target. I do not have a target. I do not have a target. Answer from this world? Are you here to play with me? No escape! <laughs> Let me amuse myself.